this is after the dirt test some good old Texas dirt in here we just made some nice mud right there we're gonna load her up another full P mag make sure it's in good all right now we're gonna put mud on the action here's our mud oh I'm sorry baby <laughs> <laughs> Put some on the handguards too. Nice, got it all over my hands too. Keep it out of the trigger, trigger area. Let's let it set for a second. All right, can you shut it off? I'm gonna take this mud off my hands. Yeah. All right, we had a little mishap, camera error. We didn't get any of the footage. This thing performed flawlessly, shot up most of the targets, but that's all right. We're just doing function here. We're making up another batch of mud real quick. Get this dried up stuff in some water. This is this gun has a Spikes Tactical Nickel Boron bolt in it, bolt and carrier. And I looped it very little before we started these tests. I, I uh, put a boar snake down the barrel too. So just so y'all know, here we go. Got another full magazine. P mag. This is the same magazine we used in the test a little bit ago. Looks like we got a bunch of mud and gunk build up in there. So this will be our second magazine with mud. Just so everybody knows. I'm not gonna do as much this time. Ah fuck it. Might as well just fill it up. Oops. Missed the action. Got it all in the damn trigger where I don't want it. <laughs> That's okay. Let's fill it up. Damn, I should have had you grab me a shop towel. It's all right. Got mud all in the action. Just so everybody sees it. Bang it off a little. <laughs> Stuff's really on there. I guess we're going to shoot it like that. Got a lot of build up. This is what I would do if I was in the field. Probably most anybody else. Take a little bit of that off of there. Hell, people would do that with their AKs. All right, here we go. Function test number two with mud. We're hot. Got that beer bottle. Am I in the screen, Mom? <laughs> yes. All right, thanks. There's another beer bottle hiding in the weeds. Got him. Got that can. One. Out of two magazines. We'll see what the problem with that one was. I felt the hammer drop. Felt like it loaded good. Uh-oh, knocked the other one down. What that concrete some more. Oh, knocking the shit out of that concrete. All right, let's go for that big one at long range. We go. We're gonna finish the magazine. There we go. Let's look at this other round. You can just leave it on the tripod. Let's see here. Looks like it hit it. We'll throw it back in. Oops, dropped it. Get a little more mud in my chamber. How about? Looks like it hit the primer. We'll throw it in the gun. Oh, got some serious mud in there now. See if it shoots this time. 
Yeah. Bad primer, maybe a possible light strike. Didn't look like a real bad light strike to me, but that's two magazines with this gun muddier than I'd ever want to try and shoot it. Can't even see the nickel bore on coating. I'm gonna screw it. Let's go ahead and run a few more rounds through it. Let's try some wolf. See how that does. Got a dust cover on here still. Get rid of that bad boy. Oh, immediate difference with the wolf. Get rid of that one. I think we got so much mud and crap in there. There we go. There it is, guys. Thanks for watching. Now. Tell me when you're ready. Yeah. All right, guys, so we got some more wolf ammunition here. Figured we'd put this baby through some more hell. So let's see how it does. Looks like it loaded pretty good on that one. Mud's drying up a little bit. That might help. Get a good rest on this here plastic barrel. We're shooting at a target that's about 100, maybe 120 yards. Hey, I knocked the beer bottle off of it. <laughs> Forgot I put that up there last week. Pissed. Pretty thin pole we're shooting at out there. Left. Getting decent hits. All right, is it looking at this far one? Can you tell? I'm not gonna shoot yet, so you can... Yes. Can it see it? Yes. We're gonna shoot at the far one now. I'm gonna guess 250 or further. Let's give it a shot. Solid hit. Well, this barrel is not exactly the best thing to shoot off of. Earplugs. There we go. All right. Let's go back to the short one. Can't even hit the short one. I can hit the far one. Not the short one. Let's try standing. Can it see me? Okay. We're pausing the video, safe in the gun. I can adjust it. No, 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 don't do that. Is it still filming? Just leave it going. Just do like here. Now, now let's bring it up a little bit. Be sure and lock that down, the cant on top. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Here we're back on fire. Didn't do anything to the gun. Just adjusted the camera so I can shoot standing. See how we do on some of these. There we go. Now I'm not shooting where the shit. <sighs> Things pretty thin to be trying to hit. Can it see the far ones? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Alright, go ahead and plug your ears up. Trying to keep it as steady as I can. Seems easier if I hold it off my plate carrier here. Oh, 
a long ways to be trying to do this. There we go. I think that's further than 250. It's taking it a while to get there. Shoot the close one again. Last round, got it. You might think that's shitty shooting, but that target's not very wide, especially to be shooting it standing. There we go. Look at that dirt coming off this damn thing. All right, guys. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Have a good one. Sometimes the best thing after a long hard day is a nice bubble bath.